Hey crafters, I'm here today doing another drill with me on the Sunset Wine Glass Diamond Painting. My first square that I'm not very good at. And we're just gonna go jump right in. I'm starting with DMC 3765, which shows up as eight on this canvas. Um, there's a few of them down here at the bottom of the glass. And I think I have good light, but these are the DMCs and they look really dark on camera. So these are kind of a blue mixed with gray. It's pretty in person, but for some reason it's not showing up correctly. So just to give you a heads up with that, I'm just gonna jump right in and start blobbing. You know how it goes, scatterbrain blabbing. Um, okay, put that there and start. Pressure, lining it up perfectly with a square. Okay, so I received an update on the Villains 2 diamond painting that I ordered. Oh, hit the camera. On the Villains 2 diamond painting that I ordered, it is coming from China. So it's gonna take a little bit longer than I thought. I did order from a company that ships from the United States, but they have a specific section that says, you know, these paintings ship from it, it's harful diamonds it's the same one as the princess ensemble i did so they have a specific section these ship from the u.s these ship from somewhere else and i just didn't pay attention to that so when i got the shipping notice and i'm like i have never heard of this carrier before who is this i went to the page to put my tracking information in and i'm like oh okay so that's on me so i originally thought maybe it would be here in another two to three weeks but it might take two to three weeks just to get to the u.s and then the shipping from the u.s into germany i'll keep you updated on the whole process but i wonder i mean i don't know what's going to happen with our mail because i think it might start to speed up i know germany is opening up shops and businesses anything less than 800 square meters which even though I've been overseas for four years now I still struggle with meters and <laughs> square feet so I think I was told that's around 8600 square feet I have no idea if that's accurate and of course I can't really think of um an equivalent store in the US that would be around 8,600 square feet, but basically small shops. Small little independent shops have been opening up. None of the large department stores are back open. And you know, smaller stores, they can monitor uh, how many people are in there. They can ask people to wait outside if it gets really busy and easier to clean, frankly. So now that things are opening up a little bit more, I. I don't know because I guess I don't I don't know what that means for commercial travel since our mail does come from the United States on a plane so who knows I just feel like these are not enough okay Meredith checkerboard checkerboard everybody tells you checkerboard Meredith mer, mer. okay checkerboard I'm gonna start checkerboarding yeah so things are opening up here I still have not gone out my husband is doing all of our grocery runs. You know, I go, I stay in the neighborhood and I go to the parks near our house, but I have not been to a grocery store or a place to shop in, in months. Put that one on crooked. Maybe it'll fix when I put the other ones next to it for the checkerboard. But yeah, I'm not sure how it's going to go. Schools are actually opening back up here. Um, I'll update you. I'll tell you everything that I start seeing and everything I hear about on the news because I was kind of surprised that things were opening up so soon because we kind of closed our stores and our schools around the same time that states in the United States were doing, doing the same. But go from there, figure it out. Oh... There we go. I wonder how far I should wait. How far I should go before I pop in the checkerboard pieces. Ah, I like that clicking noise. Click, click, click. Yeah, what else is going on? Um, so this is like so silly, but I've 
obviously I do these diamond paintings because I am a Disney nerd and I love them. And on Easter, I was able to get one of the Disney limited edition Easter uh, pins. I really like Disney pin trading. So I've gotten a notice from D uh, Shop Disney that that has shipped and I'm really excited. It was really cute this year. The Easter limited edition pin is an Easter egg with kind of a decorative gold frame and inside the egg were two options. The one, a picture of Cinderella's castle and the other, a picture of Sleeping Beauty's castle. So since I really wanna to go to Disney Paris, I went with Sleeping Beauty's castle, which is pink and I'm excited for that. And then I also ordered, I ordered two other pins. One was a Jack Skeleton pin because I really like the Nightmare Before Christmas and my son's name is Jack. And I forget, I actually forget what the other pin was. Huh, I ordered three. I don't know, I also really like Peter Pan. I was looking at a Peter Pan pin set. It wouldn't surprise me if I, if that's the third one and I just completely forgot about it. Ugh, I miss mail. I miss getting packages. I'll be very excited when all that shows up. I actually got to notice I have mail and I think it's my thyroid medicine and I might just pick a day. Today's Wednesday, so either Thursday or Friday and just actually dull myself up, like <laughs> brush my hair, maybe put some makeup on. I haven't put makeup or foundation on in months since this started. Like actually get get myself a little pampered up and go just to pick up my mail. Been thinking about that. <sighs> and as you can see, I, I haven't been working very much on this diamond painting. My original thought was, oh, well, when the villains one shows up, I'm just gonna stop this one anyways. And let me keep, I keep bumping into the camera. Let me keep moving up. When it shows up, I'm gonna stop working on this one because I really wanna put all my time and effort into the villains painting. But now that I know the villains painting is gonna be weeks, if not maybe another month before it arrives, I'm really going to, I guess, step up my game on this one. I've been doing a lot of crafting and that's the positive of everything's going on. I've had the chance to do more crafting. And like I've said before, I'm just not stuck. I'm not sure if it would be things that are good for a video like I've been using my sewing machine a lot. I've been doing a lot of different quilting and actually right now I have all of the fabric laid out for Christmas placemats, which I started last year and didn't finish in time. So they're gonna be 2020 Christmas placemats. And I could do the same thing I'm doing now. Like we would chat, we would craft together, we would work on something with each other, but I don't know if the sewing machine, and you know how loud the sewing machine is, it's like do, 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 as the, na the, the needle is going, I don't know if that would be too distracting. So my husband said if I got maybe a headset mic, that would pick up what I'm saying and maybe we could lessen the sound of the sewing machine. I mean, I might do it. I might check it out, see if it's an option because I am crafting every day, hours a day yeah, I just don't know if it will come across good in a video. And also, I'm doing my cross stitch and I picked that double-sided uh, knitting project up. So if you saw, I did a video at the beginning of the year of things I really wanted to work on. One of them was a Star Wars inspired double-sided knitted scarf. And it's, you know, you knit the front and the back together. You do one stitch, the other stitch. It gives it a very even, clean, um, image on both sides of your scarf. So I've picked that one up and it took me about two rows to really get the confidence again of double-sided knitting. Remember, sometimes you're working backwards, sometimes you're working forward. And, and I picked it all back up really quickly, but it is a thinking piece. I've tried to do it when my kids are watching a movie and I'm sitting near them and almost I need silence in order to really keep track because I, I quickly kept getting messed up whenever 
if the TV was too loud or the kids were kind of talking of being loud and it's like, oh, I should put this aside. I don't want to make an error. I should, I should really hold off, wait till after bedtime. And I've been working on that one as well. So that one's really good. But uh, if I tried to knit and talk at the same time, oh, that would be a disaster. That would actually, you know, like I can, I can walk and chew gum at the same time. I cannot knit and talk at the same time. Not double-sided knitting. If it's um, great, like stock net stitch, I'm good. But mm -mm, double-sided knitting. Ooh. So that's another one. And as always, let me know what you're working on. I love looking, uh, looking up what people say they're working on. If they're like, oh, I'm working on this diamond painting. And if it's one from a company that I've know of, I like, I, I can remember. But if it's not one, I actually like Googling it. And I enjoy looking up what everyone else is working on with me. And it gives me inspiration of like, okay, that's a really great painting. I think I might want to put that on my wish list. I might want to do that too. So let me know whatever you're working on, even if it's not diamond painting, because right now the majority of what I'm doing is not diamond painting. That's looking pretty good. I still don't think, yeah, I still think the color here is coming off really dark. It almost seems like a a navy from what I see on my my camera screen, but what is actually on my tray and being picked up on my pen is, is a lot lighter than that. So, sorry about that. I thought I had good lighting today. <sighs> yes, what else is going on? Mm. We're back to online school. Spring break is over, so the kids have this set routine. And when it first started, it was a lot of work, but we've managed and kind of, we focus on the most important activity every day. And if we don't finish everything, we try and complete it later in the day or the next day, or we explain to the teacher we couldn't get it done. I like how it's going right now. We do know we will, be using the online education platform at least until May 8th because schools will open on May 4th but not for the little little kids so the girls are in kindergarten so they will not be going back yet because like they said in their announcement you know kindergartners don't really understand or can't maintain social distancing so they're not going to go back yet so we're going to be doing online school for a little bit longer and i'm actually going to change my um my angle here a little bit which is fine it, it makes it a little difficult we got into such a fun routine over spring break and i'm gonna miss that routine because we would i'm gonna keep turning we would you know wake up do breakfast maybe the kids watched a cartoon clean up something do some coloring and then we actually would walk to the park kind of you know for me as an adult it was close ish to our neighborhood but for little kids it is quite a walk um i don't know i think like 20 30 minutes but they have this little park refreshment stand and that is open of course strict so social distancing but we could go and pick up some juice or they have ice cream there the kids would go crazy they just want an ice cream pop get an ice cream pop come back home do lunch their nap time their quiet time get up maybe another cartoon maybe go back outside you know dinner and then family night we always, we've been doing movies for family night and our days pass by really quickly, but right now it's kind of like a little bit more rushed, which I was saying I was happy to not be experiencing over spring break and with everything, um, all of our new schedule, because now it's like, okay, by the time we finish school, then it's lunch, then it's the baby's nap time. So we're not really going outside until he wakes up and this baby is going through a growth spurt like you would not imagine. He, I don't know what happened. It's like one day he went to being a picky eater and then the next day he is eating all the apples, 
all the apples bought a huge bag of apples and this kid is going through them and I swear I think since school let out he has grown an inch and a half his clothes don't fit I mean it's adorable he's growing up and it's like whoa this happened overnight and it happened at a time that I can't easily get up to the store and buy him new clothes but you know um I don't even know where I was going with that again I lose lose my train of thought but um and then for our, for our schedule, our daily schedule, that's right, yes, that's right. So for our daily schedule, then we're not even really getting outside until the late afternoon. So it's not ideal, but it's good for them to have some stuff back to focus on. And I'm trying to still do lead the Girl Scout troop, um, even though we can't meet in person. So I've been sending a lot of emails. I feel like I'm just bugging all these parents so much with like, check this out, check this out. Here's a badge. Let's work on this badge. <laughs> but you know, we're trying. I know my kids, they need, they need stuff to keep busy. So maybe other families feel the same and they're able to, you know, appreciate having the structured activities. But we'll see. We'll see how this all goes. We're just going with the flow. Hopefully all of you guys are too. Where? Ah, there we go. That one doesn't want to stick. I'm going to shake my tray. Get a few more of these lined up. It's like I'm going to shake it. I'm going to get it lined up. And then I put it down on the glue. And I have to pull it off. And it gets all... Ugh, Meredith. I've been thinking a lot about trying to film a video outside. It's so beautiful outside. Well, maybe if I just get a board, and I could have the canvas on a board, and it would be kind of loud. But I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll figure something out. We actually live, I'm not sure how close, but walkable, a walking distance from a hospital. So, you know, we do get quite a few sirens that we hear and, you know, I don't want all of that to pick up. And then if I'm outside and my kids are outside, so you're going to hear a like really sweet, oh, oh, yay, yay. And then since they're my adorable little angels, sometimes they just flip on a switch and then you'll hear them fighting. Like, she won't play the game I want to play. You guys know, you know how kids are. So all of that would be in there, but maybe I can figure out a way to work it out. Yeah. <sighs> but, oh, well, we have actually some fun stuff coming up. I feel like this is birthday season in my family because my dad has a birthday in April. My nephew has a birthday in April. And then in May, my other nephew has a birthday in May. Um, my like my adopted niece has a birthday in May. I have a birthday in May. My husband has a birthday in May. Axel's birthday is in June. The girl's birthday is in July. So we're gonna start to enter a period where every few weeks we are going to have a birthday to celebrate, which will be a lot of fun because I love cake. Hold on, there's a toddler here. What are you doing? What are you looking for? Well, nothing. I'm just going to ask you a question. It's quiet time over. It's quiet time over. Quiet time can be over, but your brother is still asleep. Yeah, we know. So if you play outside or in the living room, keep in mind he is sleeping. Mama? Yes. Even can we actually play on the tablet? What do you guys think? Should I give him tablet time? They're asking for their tablets. Okay. I'll let you have tablet time if you clean up your toys right here, okay? Okay. Can I go get something? Yeah, you can get whatever you need. Okay, guys, I'm going to cut this short. Actually, 20 minutes is pretty good, you know. I didn't get very many colors done. I just kind of focused on this blue. What I'll do is I will finish up the last few drills of this color. I will try and work on this a little bit now that I know the, the Villains 2 painting is going to take so long to arrive. And then I'm going to get the tablets out for the kids. And if they're really really good like extra good i'm gonna i'll load youtube for them 
<laughs> that's kind of the thing. It's like if you're really good, you can watch a YouTube video. But I'm going to get out of here. Uh, I'm going to help them clean up. Um, if you have anything you want to chat about, let me know down below. Always around. Love getting emails from you guys and comments. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye, crafters.